In Pennsylvania, we know, Mr. President, this is the most important election of our lifetime. We know it. Pennsylvania U.S. Senate candidate Dave McCormick alongside former President Donald Trump as he returned to Pennsylvania today holding a campaign rally in Harrisburg. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Amy Lutz. Former President Donald Trump spoke to supporters in Harrisburg tonight in a rally that marks his first in Pennsylvania since the shooting in Butler County nearly three weeks ago. Fox 43's James Corrigan is live at the Pennsylvania Farm Show Complex with a full recap of his speech. James. Well, there's a lot to recap, Amy. This is the calm after the storm right now inside the New Holland Arena, where not too long ago, former President Donald Trump spoke for nearly 90 minutes. He spoke on all things in and outside of the circle of the campaign. The shooting in Butler County less than three weeks ago was on the minds of everybody here tonight, as was Vice President Kamala Harris. Former President Donald Trump, in his first rally in Pennsylvania since the shooting in Butler County, paid tribute to Cory Comparator, who was killed in that shooting, and made reference to the day that nearly saw him assassinated. 18 days ago, where we had a very terrible day, we had a rough day, I will tell you, by all accounts. I should not be with you today. I shouldn't be with you. He then set his sights on Vice President Kamala Harris, who he blames for the increased number of border crossings during the Biden administration. And she voted in favor of deadly sanctuary cities numerous times. She supports open borders. That's all you'd have to hear. The Harris campaign held its own event in Steelton today with labor leaders from the area in response to tonight's rally. The vice president's supporters attacked the former president on his record of helping workers and with his promises on infrastructure. I had a guy that promised me an infrastructure bill and never delivered. Uh, Kills jobs! I had a president the dude was foreign policy shipped thousands and thousands of my guys' jobs overseas. The former president responded to Harris's challenge tonight to meet her face to face in a debate after he indicated that he may not take part in this fall's scheduled debate. Well, Kamala, let's go. Challenge accepted. Are you ready? Let's compare our record. In the nearly 90 minute speech, the former president claimed that a Harris presidency would mean the destruction of America and that Democrats will look to steal the election, as he falsely claims they did in 2020. The radical left Democrats rigged the presidential election in 2020, and we're not going to allow them to rig the presidential election of 2024. We're not going to allow it to happen. Now, the former president largely stayed on message here tonight. He touched on inflation and what he says was the coup against President Joe Biden to remove him from the ticket. He also touched on people crossing the border, he, uh, as well as on Israel, where he called Chuck Schumer, the senator from New York, a, quote, Palestinian. Amy. James, did uh, the impending choice of Harris's running mate come up at all during tonight? Not from Trump himself, no. The former president did not mention Governor Josh Shapiro, who is widely thought of as a serious candidate, if not the favorite to be Kamala Harris's vice presidential nominee. He was mentioned, though, by Congressman Lloyd Smucker, the Lancaster County man, earlier tonight, where he mocked Shapiro's get stuff done mantra that he has repeated throughout his governorship. Uh, but we know that Kamala Harris is holding her next rally in Pennsylvania on Tuesday night in Philadelphia to announce her running mate, whether or not it is Governor Shapiro. We don't know that yet, but the wheels certainly turning, especially with the location of that rally. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. A lot of curious folks out there. Thank you so much, James.